pause it. What in the world just happened? This is the men's 4x400 meter relay at this year's Texas versus Texas A&M dual meet. And running in this third leg were two of the greatest runners, not just in the collegiate ranks, but in the entire world for 2022. Now from Texas A&M, we've got the current indoor 800 meter champion and relay running extraordinaire, Brandon Miller. He has been setting records left and right, setting new standards for the 400 and the 800 meters. And running just on his inside is none other than Jonathan Jones from the University of Texas, another 400 and 800 meter running machine who has been rapidly improving over the previous few seasons. On paper, this 400 meter relay matchup was set to be incredible, and even though this third leg led to an unfortunate fall from Texas A&M, something else happened in this relay race that honestly just might leave you speechless. Now, since the beginning of this 2022 campaign, Jonathan Jones has kind of been crushing it. He ran a 45.07 in the Open 400 just moments before starting this relay race. He's the fastest athlete in the NCAA in the Indoor 600, and he's also currently ranked as the fastest NCAA 800 meter runner, clocking a time of 1 minute 45.83 seconds, which he achieved at this year's Texas Relays. This man is currently proving that when it comes to the 400 and 800 meters, there's next to no one that can stand with him. But the one athlete that just might be able to is none other than Brandon Miller. It's easy to see why this third leg in this 400 meter relay race was a big deal. But when you take a closer look, you see something even more incredible. For the start of this third leg, you see Brandon Miller in the lead by about seven or eight meters. Now, this is a pretty solid cushion for any 400 meter split, but down the back stretch, Jonathan Jones absolutely blew by Miller, and it seemed as though he had some unfinished business in this race here. Even the announcer couldn't help but laugh a little bit when he saw Jones make this move. It was just so fast. Jonathan Jones, go. Now, Jones is more of a 400 runner than Brandon is, but boy. Indeed, this was a very strong push down the back stretch, but also right away, Brandon Miller responded back. This was clearly a battle, and at this point, these two were both running significantly faster than anyone else in this entire competition, and even though this third leg ultimately resulted in a dropped baton from Texas A&M, Jonathan Jones from Texas actually ran one of the single fastest 400 meter splits in the history of the 4x400, hitting a time, are you ready for this, of 43.48 seconds, which in the entire history of the 4x400 meters, this split ranks 20th all time. On paper, this was not supposed to happen. I mean, at all. In the Open 400, Jones's previous best was only 44.63, and he actually ran this time all the way back in 2019. However, for this event, he dropped a pretty ridiculous time, faster than most athletes will ever be able to achieve. Now, I already know what many of you are probably thinking. And yes, he did have a running start for this 400, as it was a relay race after all. But still, to run under 43.50 seconds places Jones in the mix with some of the greatest one-lap runners to ever compete. My theory is that having Brandon Miller only a short distance in front of Jones pushed him into new territories that he probably otherwise would not have reached, and even though Brandon Miller also ran a very impressive time of 44.9, it doesn't even come close to Jones's incredible 43.48 second performance. This 2022 campaign is just getting started, and even though we've already seen many incredible times, this 43.48 really does showcase amazing potential for Jonathan Jones. And this isn't just in the 400, but it's also in the 800 meters as well. Over the next few months, we'll have the opportunity to see Jones battle it out against Brandon Miller in the 800, but we'll also have the opportunity to see Jones race against Randolph Ross, who has been crushing the 400 recently. These two athletes are clearly the best in the NCAA right now in their respective events, but if Jones can keep running times like this, he just might be able to challenge these two athletes. And now I'll pass the question off to you. How fast do you think Jonathan Jones will run in 2022, and does he have a chance to win an NCAA title in either event? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.